Hello, welcome back to From Gantry to Pantry. Today is one of my favourite things, the steak and ale pie. Everyone's got a favourite one, this one's mine. We're going to make it as traditional as we can, so let's get going. So we'll start by finally chopping a large white onion. This is going to go into our stock with the stew. Right, I'm just going to put it, put it into a bowl, which is easier just to drop into the oil. The oil's just on now, just warming through. Get it nice and hot. Give a little stir around, see how we're looking. The meat looking, it's looking good, the meat, to be fair. But obviously it's got to reduce an awful lot longer. So, lid back on, back in, see you in an hour. While the stew's in the oven for two hours, cooking away, we're going to make the second process of this, the short crust pastry. Okay, so into the sifted flour, we're going to start with the salt followed by the 125 grams of cold, fresh from the fridge, butter. And then begin fingertip process of crumbling the flour and the butter together. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a tablespoonful of very cold water. This just, so I've added the water now, this just enables the dough to come together and, and then we can form it into a bowl, cling film the bowl up and put it into the fridge for half an hour. Next thing is to do is to tip it out of the bowl. We're going to form a ball of dough and then put it back into the bowl, cover it with cling film and let it rest in the fridge for half an hour to an hour. Well, that's not a bad shape, so we'll get it back into the bowl. Just going to put a little bit of flour into this bowl, pat our pastry in it, cover it up with some clean film, stick it into the fridge for half an hour, an hour. Now, the eel eyed amongst you, I'm sure, have noticed there's still some pale ale left, so that was never for the pot, it was always for me. Now, a couple of things about a pie, they're always personal to us all. Mine is the steak and ale, that's why we're making it today. But my opinion about a pie, you should be able to slice it or hold it. I'm not having it where you served a bit of stew in a silly little pot with a huge lid. As soon as you touch it, disintegrates into a billion pieces covering your shirt, your table, your shoes. I'm not having that. That's not a pie in my opinion. Equally, I'm not having chicken in it, turkey in it, cranberry in it, pork in it, chorizo in it, gammon, leek, cream or curry. They've all got a place of their own, but not in a pie. If you want to know where the best pie is, find your local sports cameraman. We travel the country. We thrive on our pies. Every Saturday morning, we compare notes. We're all over the country, all over the grounds. We can tell you the good chippies, the bad chippies, where to go for a sandwich, where to go for a pie. Find your local cameraman. 
Right, so the pastry should have had time to do its thing in the fridge. Now we need to cut it slightly into thirds. So I'd say that's about there. One's for the base, one's for the, one's for the lid. The stew's had time to cool down. You put, this, you put the stew in while it's too warm, you're asking for problems. So let's see if we can just roll this out thin enough to go into the bowl. Okay. So, I'm happy I think with the thickness now. So what I'm gonna do is put the pastry back over the rolling pin, offer it up to the, the uh, cooking bowl. Over we go. Just gonna push it in with my fingers, just at all the edges. And then I'm just gonna take the edges off. Before I roll out the lid, I just want to egg wash the edge of the wall of the, uh, the dish, just so it's like a glue for it to stick to. So once I'm happy with the lid, we'll put the stew in, but I'll hold some of the gravy back to make a nice, uh, nice thick gravy to go on our tea. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to fill with our stew mixture. Won't make it too wet with the gravy, as I say, we'll keep some of the gravy back. Lid on. Just going to crimp these sides down. So what shall I do now is egg wash the lid. When we've egg washed the lid, we need to put an air hole in the top, but don't put the air hole in until you've completed your egg wash. So, little air hole now, as so. What I'll do now is I'm gonna put it onto the baking tray, just in case it runs over, straight into the oven, 180 degrees still for about 30 minutes or until it's golden. Mm -hmm. 